In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a market update template in Canva. The tips and tricks to make it easy, professional, and make it to where it's one and done, easy for you to use month after month. Let's dive in. Before we get to actually building out the entire slide deck for the market update, I do want us to jump back in on step number two of Jan's video where we talked about creating the median sales price graph. There's a lot of different ways you can actually do this and you can actually build graphs in Canva, but I don't really find the functionality of that to be all that great. So what we decided to be the best functionality for us was actually to build a graph in Google um, Google Sheets. Now you can use PowerPoint, not PowerPoint, you could use Excel if you wanted to to do this too. Just use whatever's going to be the easiest um, program for you. We're in Google Drive all the time so Sheets was the best um, best way for us to do that. This is what the slide will start looking like. The bottom picture here is what the slide looks like um, uh, when we get it done actually in the, in the slide deck. But to get that done first, let's go up to uh, Google Sheets here and I'll show you how easy it is to, to do this. So here we are in Google Sheets. Uh, we keep one spreadsheet and we just build on this month by month throughout the year. This is the 2021 stats. We started this way back uh, in the middle of the year and we have been growing it every year because every month in the monthly update you're showing the entire progress for that particular year. It works like anything else. You put all the data into the spreadsheet and then you just build the graph right there. You can change the color of the graph to match your uh, branding and uh, bing, bing, boom, you're done here. What we do from this point though is we take a screenshot of this actual graph and then I pull that screenshot into Canva. The third step that Jan talked about was the stats from Keeping Current Matters. Now I really, Jan talks about this all the time, we are big, big advocates and users of Keeping Current Matters. The data that they give to you is out of this world. It's already done for you and this will give the larger snapshot of what's happening across the United States. The other graph that we just talked about a moment ago is your local stats, right? But this adds the uh, just the extra power of what's going on going on around the nation as well. These are the stats that a lot of people are probably hearing, in, you know, in the news. So go over to Keeping Current Matters, check those graphs out, get them prepped up. Those are the ones you're going to be needing to, to to refresh your market video every single month. Okay, step number four was to create and update your slides in Canva. So, you know, once you have this built, you can just update it really easily. Jan said it takes her about 10 minutes every month just to actually put the new slides in once you have your base of the presentation done. So now let's jump into Canva and start building out the slide deck. As always, we start at the dashboard here in Canva. We'll click on presentations. Once again, as always, you're going to find there are thousands and thousands of templates that you can start from. Go through these templates and see if there's one that you actually want us to, you know, just jump in and start utilizing. Now, remember, you're not you're not building it. You're building a presentation that's primarily going to be statistics. It's going to be just screenshots of statistics. So this doesn't really have to be super fancy because the data is what people are coming to this presentation for in the first place. So you can look through these templates. You can build something on your own. I am going to uh, provide you a link to actually use the template that we use and so let's just jump over to that so this is the template that we use for Jan we created this very simple simple template that she's able to update on a monthly basis um, for this particular template we pulled in this is for her Tampa Gulf Coast uh, monthly update uh, we pulled in the colors of her company which is Celtic Realty there in Dunedin Florida and um, you know which is got their little kind of Celtic feel to it the emerald greens the golds the the maroons you know you can change this to whatever you want to one thing I did want to show you a little, a little trick in this area is you can see we have the map behind here I think that's you know it's a great way to kind of focus your your um, viewer in on where they are there is a super easy way to actually add a map into um, uh, to Canva uh, using um, one of their uh, little apps here. If you go over there and you click the dot dot dots more at the very bottom of the page, you're going to see a place over here called Google Maps. If you just type in um, or click on that, you type in Tampa, click on that, it's going to bring up a map of Tampa and you can just pull that right on in here. You can get really granular right down into a particular market area that you might want to go into. I put that in the back of there. I put a layer on top of it, that green layer, just to kind of, you know, you know, put that map in the background. It'll make the user be familiar about where they are. 
Okay, as we quickly move down the rest of the presentation here, we have an intro slide. Very important to have that. Many of your users might not be people that have been watching your monthly update every month, so you want to have it in there and introduce yourself quickly. Uh, good to have an agenda slide. That way you will let the user know what to expect out of the video that they are about to watch. And then you jump in and start getting your statistics. So this particular set here, Jan pulled from the MLS. Just change the title up here, throw in the most current stat. Okay, this is something that I think is just really super important to kind of figure out what stats you actually want to show to your, your consumer. You know, we landed on these. It's always great to show year over year, quarter over quarter, month over month, whatever's going to tell the best story. Right now, year over year stats are off the charts great. I dare you to find me a single place in the United States that's not showing a great gain uh, of, you know, tens of thousands of dollars um, uh, over year over year. So it's a great stat to put in there right now. I'm going to show you a little trick with this particular slide in just a few minutes. We keep on scrolling down here. Here is that uh, the Excel spreadsheet, or excuse me, the Google Sheets uh, graph that we talked about a little bit ago. So let's go in here and just, just show you how easy it is. If you have all of your stuff prepped, you see I'm in my uploads right now. I have uploaded that particular um, graph along with a lot of the graphs from, and charts from Keeping Current Matters. So this, the reason why we do it the, this way as opposed to doing all of the numbers and everything in the sheets is that way you can really kind of make these any, any way you want to. Every single one of our um, sales price here are a separate te text box. The months are too because this will grow as the year goes on. The January and February you might just have a couple charts up, or a couple of graphs up here or you're showing the graphs from the previous um, year up here whatever it's just a little bit more flexible and you can do more with it if you just build it like this or we have found that to be the case so all we do every month upload the the screenshot which is just the blank screen you know bare graph put it back here behind our uh, our text boxes that are here and just throw it right on into the video which make or into the uh, presentation which makes it super easy uh, to do on a monthly basis same thing with the keeping current matters graphs so this is from our last video let's put in a new heading there let's just move these down a little bit because that heading's a little bit larger we're going to throw in some different statistics so once you've done your homework on this it's super easy just to update the actual chart so you are ready to record now simple as that right <laughs> super simple there's there's not a lot to this it's about getting your bones and your actual template all set and ready to go and then every month you're just able to go in and update it as you do and we have a closing slide as well right contact gets sends you back to the right place driving them either to your youtube page uh, or to your social media website wherever you um, want to drive your agents or your excuse me your clients in the call to action there at the very end now i want to jump in here now and show you how you can actually turn one of these slides or at least the information on one of these slides into a marketing piece this year it's all about keeping it as simple as possible choose a couple things and do them really well the great thing about this market update video and your newsletter and all of this is that you can do one thing really research the stats and you can use it so many different ways right so we've already talked about some of those ways but here's another way that you can actually take the same same information and get the information out again in a different format to your uh, clients once again it's using all the same stuff just repurposing in a different way. Now we have found, surprisingly enough, that postcards work. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people will think that's old school, but let me tell you something. It, people do not get as much mail as they used to because everyone has gone away from mail. You don't even get as much junk mail as you used to. At least I don't. Um, so postcards are work. Jan has been extremely successful over the last quarter of the year sending out postcards to non-owner occupieds. Um, just giving them an idea of what their homes are are worth and how much they have increased over in value a uh, year over year or month over month or whatever like I said earlier the stat that you want to do so getting back to this slide that we built think about what you want to communicate and then let's turn this into a postcard now I don't mean turn this exact same uh, you know slide into a postcard but look at the look and feel you want everything to be very consistent obviously in your branding so what we did is we took this information 
and we built out a postcard for the area that she's working in and um, using the stats really 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 bringing home to those out of you know those non owner, owner occupies or out of state owners <clears throat> how much appreciation there has been in the last year so we put this piece together once again you know we pulled in the map using that map feature in Canva uh, played around with all of the information on this page and then we built a back page to it as well now this can do a bunch of different things the CTA on here in this particular case we have a call to action back to the website page that has the monthly market report so if they are not in the loop with your your market report that goes out on a monthly basis you've now given them information about their property and how great the um, the home appreciation is but now you're going to give them a QR code code QR code to get back to uh, the newsletter and hopefully they will come back to that, subscribe to it and get on your mailing list there. So another way to kind of loop them all back around, the, the circle is complete. As a reminder, you can build QR codes right here in Canva. Um, all you need to go is once again down to the dot, dot, dot more, go up to QR code, enter the QR code into um, the uh, the text box there, hit generate code, and this actual code will just pop on up and you can just resize it and drag it right on into your design. So once again, you are, you know, you, you can repurpose these ideas and these designs across many, many different platforms, a lot of different ways to get your word out um, to the clients. So we'll put a link to this template as well. You can use it as your, your starting place and then you can jump off and do whatever you want to that too. One more thing before we wrap up, I wanted to talk about step number five uh, in you know creating your own uh, marketing update video was to re actually record your video. Uh, Jan always uses Loom. It's a Google Chrome extension, fantastic tool. I've used it myself. It really works out really, uh, really great. However, you can do the recording right in Canva if you'd like to. Um, so all you need to do is go up to the top menu this time, up to the dot, dot, dots, click on that, go to present and record. Then you go right to the recording studio. You'll be able to check your camera and your microphone levels. Uh, and then you just go ahead and record your video and then you are done. One stop shop for getting your uh, video designed and your template all ready to go and recording all in Canva. We love it. Now, if you're not a Canva user, go to the link in the description below and sign up today. And that's it. The hardest part of this process is setting up your original template. It's going to take you some time to figure out exactly what you want it to look like, what you want the layout to be. But once you have that done, it is going to be an easy breezy thing for you to update every single month. And what a great, consistent, value-packed marketing piece you're going to be able to send out to your clients and friends.